Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's talk about the planet orbit inclination. And what does that mean? Well, the Earth revolves around the Sun, and the plane that that orbit makes is called the ecliptic plane. And so here I have the explanation here, ecliptic plane. It's the plane that the Earth, and where's the Earth? Right here. Here's the Earth, that where the Earth goes around the Sun. So that plane is called the ecliptic plane. Now it turns out all the other planets, they revolve around the Sun roughly in the same plane, but not quite, slightly off. And so that's what we call the orbit tilt or the orbit inclination. So here you can see that Mercury, the orbit of Mercury is kind of like this. And so it makes an angle between the orbit of Mercury and the orbit of the Earth. And the angle is about seven degrees. Mercury varies the most from all the planets in the solar system from that orbital plane of the Earth, from the ecliptic. So the orbit, orbital tilt or orbital inclination from Mercury to the ecliptic is seven degrees. For Venus, it's about half that, 3.4 degrees, so it's much closer to the orbit of the Earth. Mars is even closer at 1.85 degrees, so slightly less than 2 degrees. And Jupiter is only 1.3 degrees off that ecliptic plane. So you can see as, the, as Jupiter goes around the Sun, the, sometimes the, Jupiter will be above the ecliptic and sometimes Jupiter will be below the ecliptic, just like all the other planets. So it's a a wrong indication here if you think that the planets, the planets are always above the ecliptic plane because the orbit will take them below the ecliptic plane half the time and above the ecliptic plane the other half of the time. Saturn, that's about the same as Venus at 3.4 degrees. Uranus is very close. If you look at all the planets, Uranus is closer to the ecliptic plane than any other planet in the solar system at less than 1 degree, 0.77 degrees. And then Neptune is back up to 1.77 degrees, which is still relatively close. So what you can see, except for Mars, all the planets are with less than 4 degrees relative to the ecliptic plane as they revolve around the Sun. As a comparison, let's take, a, let's take a look at Pluto. Pluto used to be called a planet. Of course, it's not a planet anymore now. It's a trans-Neptunian object. But notice the change, the difference here. Pluto's orbit is at 17 degrees inclination relative to the ecliptic plane. One of the reasons why Pluto is no longer considered a planet, not only for that reason, but for a number of other reasons, because it's so different from the other eight planets, especially when we talk about orbital inclination. So that gives you a pretty good feel. Nevertheless, even though there is somewhat of a difference between the, the tilt of the, of the planet orbits compared to the Earth, you see that's relatively small for most planets, and therefore you, you can then think about all the planets revolve around the Sun in roughly the same region near the ecliptic plane. And so the shape of the, of the solar system is basically like a pancake shape. We have the Sun in the middle, and then we have all the planets lined up pretty well close together near that ecliptic plane with just a few degrees difference in each case. That's what we mean by orbit inclination of the planets. What that means is the orbit of the planet relative to the orbit of the planet. The, uh, the <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs>